Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and our Darkest Dungeon run. So today I'm going to try to do the wield a medium run. We will get Book of Rage. Not that I would really use this, but I don't want to go back to the ruins even if I kind of like an antiquarian uh, item there. Also this one, the stun skill chance for play doctors are super useful. But uh, I want to do medium runs and I also don't want to go back to the ruins, so that's why we're heading over here. And this would be our squad, which means pretty weak sauce. But it might work. Uh, so I'm going to bring my guest in the front because he has finale. That will move him back and then he can use inspiring tune from the back row. The problem is that that's the only thing he can do. Maybe that's not really how we want to play it. I could bring a healer otherwise. Or I could pay money to give him Dark Stab or a solo. Hmm. I think we will go and give him skill here. This might be a waste of money, but we will give him battle ballad so we can at least do something from the back row if no healing is required. A healing that is. So let's try this out. We will bring not yet. Oh, you go in front. Mallory, our plague doctor. Castilian, I'm a bounty hunter, Toshet, I'm a flagland, and then the Mr. Gluff in the front row. Um, so we have some issues with this group, I would say, and the fact that we don't have a real healer. We could maybe use the flagland, and a play doctor can at least heal one to two. And I guess. Mm, we have at least wound care, so we can do some healing during our uh, time off. Anyways, we will bring a lot of food. This is the wheel, so I should at least bring um, three shovels, maybe more. I think, yeah, we will need the blood because of this dude. I wonder if the curse will go slower in the town, or if it will not go at all if you are in town. No, it's, um, you need holy water for anything? Not really. Let's go like this. Is there anyone here I can't afford to lose? Well, the two backliners have uh, upgraded weapons. So I prefer not to lose them. Corruption has soaked the soil, oh, nice. sapping all good life from these groves. Not very nice. We need to go back here. Evil. Deal with those two fights. Mm. Go up here and uh, deal with the fight in the corridor first. I think we use medical herbs on this. Turn that into food. Well, I guess that's fine. Hey, why you move first? How rude. I even got you a speed stone. Well. You killed her. Raving. Nice. Sounds bad. Only brought one of these. <laughs> so, you know. Um, so, do you want to heal? Or do you want to do damage? I mean, they have moved this turn already, so. 
Can you, by the way, transfer? Yeah, you can transfer bleed, so... Maybe that's what you want to do. Check one that hasn't moved yet. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. You could transfer his bleed, so he can get below 50 HP. Uh, it's only two hit points, like I don't think this is worth it, but whatever. Might as well try it out. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. But that wasn't too bad. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and I should have moved killer. you back to the front line. Oh, you have the damage debuff still, so might might as well stand back here. A time to perform beyond one's limits. They have a new a couple of new uh, voice lines in here. Don't recognize. When you buff, when you heal, when you eat, stuff like that. Really low bleed chance, or bleed resist, I should say. With this group, I should really go for the one that can do damage first, because... Uh, well... I can reduce stress damage with the Jester. I have a harder time healing, though. These guys do more damage if you're marked, though. So she will die from the bleed. Good stuff, and then we could just... Let's attack one in the front row. Should act first because of the speed buff. Oh. Anyways... Um, do we want to bring her forward? Kind of. Let's go for these guys. They have high protection though. That's what the bleeds are for, I guess. Brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Will you really say that every time we buff? I hope not. Almost below 50% HP, so we can do something nasty here. Give, give stress. Okay. I'm, I'm having a hard time deciding if I'm most afraid of health damage or stress damage. Need to do one more damage. Do some stress healing here. Can you play for yourself? Right. Not too shabby. Inspiration and improvement. He's he's freaking uh, saying something every time we play. Music that's a bit annoying. Uh, we could let her die in one go, or in two turns. So. Speed resist minus. Oops. Attack our flagland, please. Thank you. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Yeah, he will die from the blight, so or bleed. Oh, who needs a vestal when you can heal with this shit? <laughs> weekend! Come on, guy. Do we need to say er something about mount, everything? So too will All buffed! All debuffed! All buffed again! Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I'm guessing this is holy water. Use the stress. Well, I was kind of hoping for heal, but then again, I shouldn't really bother with healing him, so. Fair, I didn't know what to expect. Oh, 
I wonder how rare the blood is. Can you like, if you bring one guy with the, 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 the curse, test. will you now it must be able to? Uh, make him go above. Uh, or will you be able to get bloodlusted all the time when you are in a dungeon, or is it you always need to bring one food, or, or one blood, or two blood, or three blood per person? You don't know. Since we actually don't have a healer, let's go ahead and do some eating. Start with our good old stun in the back. Got one though. Um, let's try once more. Nice. Annihilated. Good start. Taking a little bit of sip of Pepsi here, so. Back to one that hasn't moved yet, I guess. So the bleeds will act even earlier. More stress, I guess. Battle blood. The blood quickens. <laughs> that guy is saying that every freaking time, every time. Right, this guy is dead. I don't think we, we need to bother marking this, even if it will remove some protection. Flagellant is pretty useful with the powerful bleeds. I wonder how much uh, they will be able to. Higher level mobs, if they will have too much bleed resistance, but I guess you will get more and more stuff that will increase bleed chance as well, so. That's not really a big deal. Don't say anything. Please don't say anything. Oh, we did actually not say anything this time around. We do extra damage against them, but as you can see, it's only one extra damage, and the ordinary attack has higher crit chance. And then I leave it with one hit point. So go figure. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. It's pretty good to almost this have um, push on to the task's end. Nice map. Worst map I ever seen. I guess a flagland can't read a map. Maybe we have crap. Mm, trust. Unless it's on counter. Uh, this is anti venom, I think. Can you stop talking? Moves. No. These guys don't really have any move skills, but. Um, One hundred gold, riches. Holy moly, riches. Well, I guess it was a good thing to try to do that way anyways, because it should increase the scouting chance, maybe? I actually don't know if uh, this... yeah, it says increase scouting chance, so... In Radiance, may we find victory. 
nature herself. Yeah, we're about to use the shovels. So I paid good money for them. Malformed with misintent. Right, so no more bloodlust. Okay, I think we will take a break here because a spark without kindling is a goal without hope. We don't really know how many more fights we have, so we might as well use this. Scouting chance. Scouting chance. Yeah. What's this? Eel, remove light, remove bleeding, get extra speed. Sure, we could use that, but I think we will go with tracking and scout ahead. You remove thesis on someone. Nope. That's such a good uh, camping skill. I mean, removing a disease, that's like 1000 gold or something, so. And gain extra accuracy. Well, to be fair, we have uh, no real. Uh, oh! Accuracy and crit. Off yourself? No. Let's go on this guy. Pep talk. No disease. Whatever. See some pep talk. I like that he's sitting <laughs> watching the other side. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. All details like that really adds to this game, in my opinion. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Even if it might be poor in blood. You might want it to be a bit more dynamic though, like you would he will only sit like that if he has high stress or low stress or something like that. Right. I don't like the artilleries, they will give us blights and they will mark for the scratcher. The will to fight for Interesting. Crit, but uh, everything got resisted. Of course, you stun the one that has one hit point. Mm. We can always remove the bleeds, so that guy should be too bad. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. These guys don't like to be in the front row, that's for sure. They usually do some kind of uh, retreat. Oh. Okay, that guy had pretty high light resist, so I shouldn't really have done that maybe. But. Okay, the same guy over and over again. I don't know about that AI, but... I should be dead. Oh, -ho! and dodge that. This is a bit of a waste of an attack, so or waste of damage. Only do one hit point. Yeah, that's the blight. The death of my inches. It is which is kind of interesting when. Uh, Oh come on, I want to kill this guy. He had 1 to 1 damage, but he did 0. I'm just saying. Ah oh, well. It's fine. I said that this was a waste of damage before, but... Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Confusion, nerves, and panic. Oh, 
they will move back. Injury. Get that escape cloud. Fear. The slow deaths, unforeseen, unforgiving. Well, I think we want to do a heal, so let's see if we can have him for one turn. Heal your friend. Diminished. I like the fact that when you use that heal, you debuff yourself, so the narrator is like, oh, diminished. But uh, he would say something about the heal, maybe, because that's kind of what he did. Yes, Jerome, thank you. Let's bring it. I forget the keys again, really. I always forget these freaking keys. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. This one corridor. Uh, have a fight. We have pretty low stress, so we should be able to deal with this without using a torch. Oh, I forgot to bring you forward. Oops. It's fine. Play Doctor is mostly here for the crowd control. Put the bonus damage though. Decimated. It was a waste killing a stunned uh, target. I, mean, I said it before, but it's true. The ground quakes. dude he's almost dead not quite Master now he's gone executed. I don't think these guys leave corpses do they I can't remember It feels pretty good that you can, uh, like, don't really care, or you don't have to care about um, the hit points of the flaglands. I feel like uh, that class seemed pretty strong. Not a trifling victory. As I said before, it's also Not a victory nonetheless. I went on now. I guess it's kind of a high risk, high reward kind of deal, but I don't know. I'm guessing this is something for holy water, but use it anyways. All this darkness, yeah, it's dark, all right. Fight, fight. I have a key for this. But... Oh, what's this? Scouting chance, trap, disarm, and minus speed. Mm hmm. As well. Well, I shouldn't really eat with you, but. Um. Minus one speed for you might not be worth it, but. We'll bring it along. One thing is for sure we are not really making any surprising attacks here even with our tracking skill. I guess it's only 10% so... He 
He's he's dead. This dagger does pack a punch. A dizzying blow to body and brain. She will bleed out. Maybe remove some stress instead. You know, a friend here. I might think that the low hit points of the flagland is a negative thing, but because, well, the heals will be weaker and stuff, but it's actually pretty useful because it will bring him below the threshold easier, so he will be able to heal more often. So. Want to do? Uh, have to boost it up again. I think I am in a position where we could go with much lower light levels. Now we got the surprise. Be gone, fiend! We have attacked this guy. Well, everyone can almost attack the back row here. Executed with That was a quick, immunity. quick battle. Success so clearly in view. Oh, a key. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Well, that was not the last fight. So we have one more fight down there. Go well. so then. Good thing I didn't destroy the shovel. I did think uh, that that was the last battle of this round. So. I was pretty close. Destroying the shovels. Okay, and adjust on these guys. This, if only because otherwise you would might got uh, bitten by otherworldly corruption spiders. So there are two different tree trunks. One where you use anti venom, and one where you use the bandage. And this one you should use medical herbs, I think. Ever. Nice one. Um, okay, let's go. Not, not great fighting a madman in a shadowy environment. Interesting. This is a stress over time debuff we got. back instead of starting to attack with this thing what can you do from the back row offer <laughs> you can you can suffer none of these have bleeds or blight so let's just go back oh come on less I think this is a use case for that uh, forward free, really. If I knew you could move forward like that, I wouldn't have bothered moving these guys around. Hmm. Oh well. He will die from the bleed in two kind of turns. 
Let's see if we can bring this guy forward. Come at me, bro! Armless swipe. Okay, so he moves forward when they are in the back row. It's good to know. Let's miss. You might die from the blight. Yeah. Need to do five damage to this dude. I was going to say, that's going to be easy enough. <laughs> fancy, fancy course. Right, you want, might want to do that stress healing thing. Can you do it from this position? Yeah. Let's use... Just to heal ourselves. I don't want to go to death store. Even if I think death store for a flagland is not too bad. Hey, not not too shabby. Let's remove some of the stress here. This is the last fight, anyways. So, stress is the only thing we need to be worried about. He be dead. All we need to do is kill this guy and then we are done. Come on. That gives you a stress debuff or stress buff yeah, as well. Pretty useful. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Let's see what we can use with the tent here. Nothing, I guess. Is there anything left? Uh. Oh. Not too shabby. Could even bring back a journal page. I don't know if that makes a difference. If we just need to read it. There we go. No secret passage. Nothing. Alright. The agents of pestilence will yet be driven from our woods. That went much better than I thought. Most likely because the flagrant is overpowered. And it was a level 1 dungeon, so... Pretty easy. Well, the Flagland is overpowered against anything that can bleed. Yes. And as long as you don't get one shot then. Got some disease here on Castilian though. Love interest in town, but only visit a brother. Brothel. Brothel. Back tracker. That's a pretty useless quirk. Obsessed with sainthood. Bleed resist. Creeping cough. That one we need to remove. I'm not sure if you want to... You want to remove it in the medical ward? I guess so. We dug for months, years, an eternity. And we were rewarded with madness. Right, the resurrection of our ramshackled hamlet has lured brave artisans and mar merchants who see potential in the vacant lots surrounding the town square. One blueprint awarded. District buildings. So this is a new feature in Crimson uh, Court. The hamlet is growing and news of your presence is emboldering craftsmen to return. You may now construct, construct all new buildings. They are expensive but provide unique bonuses that may help you in your endeavors to cleanse the state. Blueprints. These rare loot items are age-old plans. Ban in the hamlet. They are consumed when constructing new buildings in the districts. Blueprints are guarded by bosses. Okay, so we got a blueprint, which means we can build districts, but as you can see, they are quite pricey, both with money. Well, money is not too bad, it's most about these um, heirlooms. 
I think I went through these in an earlier episode, so... Um, I'm not sure which I want to try to guess first, because you use the same blueprint for everything. So that's fine. <laughs> Performance Hall. This only boosts Yesters. That's interesting. Because everything else boosts more things. Of course, less expensive. But this also makes it a bit like... You almost feel like if they will be adding a class... Maybe that would be a class that likes to use a performance hall. Whatever that means. And I mean the gesture is kind of a bard, bard, so a bard class will not really make sense. Outsiders bonfire. This one is pretty cool. It additional respite points. Super cheap, but super expensive with these vests. Now I think the first one. I would like to get is the Sanguine Vintners because that's two bottles of blood brewed each week. So that wouldn't really. I guess we only have one guy with this curse now. So. That's fine. But they are not dropping a whole lot, that's for sure. So. And it doesn't even cost any money. That's something I would like to get. This one is pretty interesting as well. Idle stress relief in time increased by 10 per week. That's quite a lot. Healing when eating, some food is granted free each week. Mm. Orchlight is most more beneficial. Yeah. Lot of stuff that could be proven useful here. But let's start by removing the creeping cough here. Or not. Oh, I need to click on 750. I wonder if we can get it cheaper by upgrading. At the same time I want to keep these things in order to build a blueprint. So or use a blueprint. But do I want the sanguine winters or do I want to upgrade for my well, these are so expensive, I will never be able to wait for these guys to finish. So I have to kind of choose one of these, because I still need to upgrade the town, and I think upgrading the town is more important. Because these are so expensive that it's so silly. Like upgrading, building the puppet theater, that's like upgrading one building fully, almost. So, I don't know. But I think we will go for the Sandy Winters. So anything that uses the busts, we will not upgrade. Deal? Deal. Oh, no upgrade for Killian here, but... Fine. Um, yeah. No one else really needs to be uh, dealt with here. And using the hero barracks doesn't cost us any busts. I'm pretty tempted to do this. More it's done. Alive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory in this domain of the damned. Maybe I should have uh, checked if these guys were any good first. Protection sounds good on a frontliner, so welcome. This man understands that adversity. And existence are one and the also same. Pretty useful. Sickly. Disease resist, doesn't matter. Buffle, damage with melee skills, stress heal. Fine. I mean, he has a couple of uh, melee skills, not that many, but. I always make him use melee skills. At the same time, he will most likely. Elusive? Evasive? Use it before I lock it in. Writer's so. traits for a rogue. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. In the next one, we will head out and hopefully find a boss. A boss? Okay, fine. But uh, we will most likely try to find another 
Apprentice level dungeon. Medium, I should say, not apprentice. Medium. Medium size dungeon. We do have almost a full squad level 3. So, if we could bring Munderville up to level 3, then we could start doing higher tier missions. Might be a good idea. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye!